What is going on everybody and welcome down to another video. Three days, well two days, eight hours left. We've literally just packed all of our bags for going away and we thought why not unpack it all <laughs> and show you everything that we've literally just put in. So we'll do mine first because I'm pretty sure that there's more girls on here that will want to see booze rather than mine so we'll do mine first because that's quicker and then <laughs> then we'll just do yours second yeah yeah so right we'll do mine first hand luggage is quite simple to be fair i'm just taking sanitizer obviously a padlock to padlock them together and this is just literally all my camera gear so literally tripods gopro earphones my laptop will be going in there and chargers and that is pretty much it i have already actually done a video on this so if you want to go see what's in this bag fully you can go see that right so i went for camo colored um green here i thought it looked cool but now i am actually regretting it because walking through airports and third world countries of like cambodia and stuff they're probably going to think i'm some sort of soldier and probably going to get a lot of luck so i'm not looking forward to that this is a it's off ebay i think Ramada Big Leader 120, so that means it's 120 litres, which it doesn't look 120 litres to be fair, so I don't know if that's correct or not. This is a St. Christopher's, just to keep us safe, a little something that my sister bought us. And yeah, that's pretty much the outside. There's loads of pockets on this, lots of pockets, which will probably get full of absolute crap. Now, this is absolute. This is absolutely <laughs> horrible. Uh, yeah, go on, go on, keep, keep going. I'm going. This is absolutely horrible having to unpack all this because it literally did take us about an hour to pack it. So now we're literally unpacking it just to show you what is inside it. So that is literally like annoying. But anyway, first bit at the bottom. Bear in mind, this is for a whole year that we're taking this for. So, one towel, one belt, some like nail file stuff of like, I don't know, clippers, scissors, all that kind of boy crap. Wash bag, now, nice Emirates bag, not that I've ever been on an Emirates flight. Hairbrush, you know, and all that. Toothpaste, deodorant, razors, sun cream, sun cream, just literal general stuff like that for a year, which will probably run out, and then we'll have to buy some more. <sighs> you sort that. This I'm not even gonna bother getting out. This is just literally all my GoPro um, accessory packs and stuff like that. So like different attachments and stuff like that. That will be in the bottom until we actually get to Cambodia because I doubt I'll need that. Um, we can zip that up and head to the main bits. Now I feel like I'm taking not a lot. So you might think differently or I think I'm taking too much. If you think that, please tell me because I'd love to redo this all again and pack it again. <laughs> Not. Now, Boo went for packing cubes, which were off Amazon for what, how much? 20 quid, something like that? 20 quid? That was like three pound from eBay. Three pound from eBay, anyway, there you go. Which basically puts your bag into like compartments so you can get it out easily. I didn't want to pay the money, so I went for plastic Sainsbury's <laughs> bags. <laughs> so basically, in here is just literally pants, pants and socks. socks. Um, seven pairs of pants for a full year and nine pairs of socks. Socks more right? important. Socks more important. <laughs> but yeah, that's for a whole year. So yeah, that's going to get reused 365 times. Like, that's just, yeah. Second bag. Okay, is t shirts. Now I went for. I don't want to get it out. <laughs> I went for two vests, a basketball one and 
one. Just a cotton t shirt just one. Just a normal cotton t shirt one. I went, I went. Da, 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 da. I got. So in total, I've got five t shirts, two vests, and like two going out shirts, which I can still wear these in the day if I had to, but like going out on a night out or somewhere a little bit more posh for food, I can wear shirts, even something a little bit fancy like that. Proper beach shirt, you know what I mean? Like that's quite nice. Beautiful. Now all that's messed up nice. Got to refold it. Next, in another bag, Morrison's bag this time. I do recommend getting the cubes over because these are <laughs> just an absolute pain in the ass. Two pairs of swim shorts, essential. Taking two so I can have one dry, one wet. So if we are in the place where we're in out a pool, I can put the dry ones on, dry the wet ones, and then wear the wet one. Yeah, whatever. And what have we got so I'm taking two pairs of like, everyday shorts, which I actually got these from Vietnam last time we went. Some Nike ones, with zip pockets and some adidas ones with zip pockets it cost me like three english pounds when we was there haggled down by yours truly behind the camera <laughs> and then i'll probably buy some more when we're out there because it's just no point in me buying them 25 pound pair when i can get them for like three pound over there then just little like again like posher cargo short things that we could wear out for food or just i don't know rooftop parties stuff like that and then, again, just some jean ones, which, again, are just a bit more posher than wearing. Like the tracky light ones, like really, aren't they? Yeah, so they will be everyday use and nighttime use. And oh, essentials. <laughs> uh, these are, will become your best friend. You will wear these 95% of the time. Again, I got these when we was in Vietnam. There was about... Two quid. Yeah, I think we got that. them down quite low, didn't yeah. we? And these have lasted amazingly. Nike ones, probably buy some more while I'm out there because they do get used a lot and get very sweaty. Well, the second pair of trainers that I'll be taking will be my Chuck Taylors. But these will be more for like going on hikes, stuff like that, because they have got a bit of ankle support. Whereas Flip flop stone and my other Nike ones that I'm taking, which will be like long walks. These would be perfect for like going in like the jungles and stuff like that. Because again, they give you that little bit of support on the ankle. So if you twist your ankle, which does happen quite a lot, it gives me that support. I think that's it empty, is it not? That is literally. Now it's all on the bed. That is me. And we're gonna have to repack. So. <laughs> While we um, pack all this away, we'll uh, get mine repacked. Thank you so much. I hope you actually like this video so we don't have to pack it again. <laughs> so we'll pack mine back up and then we'll get on to the one that all the girls are fully actually only here for. They don't really care about what I'm taking. So that is what I'm going to be living off for a full year. Right, now we've got the boring one out of the way, we'll move on to the less boring one, which probably most of the girls are going to actually be interested in. No one's really going to be interested in what I have to offer. It is starting to get hot in here. I am sweating because we've got these bloody... Yeah, we went to the effort of actually putting some decent lighting in here. So, right, into what's in the bag of a female for a year of travelling. This is my hand luggage bag. This does actually attach to this bag. But I figured I'm going to wear it on my front because otherwise I might fall over. Mm -hmm. So, again, I've got my little, like, St. Christopher good luck thing from Mitch's sister for Christmas on the front of that. I've attached my travel pillow because that's a lifesaver. Mitch has got one too. Where did we get that? What? Oh, was that we got on the that way in... back from Vietnam last, last time. Yeah, we got that in the airport, which was like seven quid, which is actually really a good bag, for something yeah. like that, especially in an airport. Yeah, and I always get the crappy seat, so it's quite comfortable. And a hat, because I figured I'm, everyone needs a hat. Then I've just got like a little wallet. This has got mine and Mitchell's. Our passports are in there because Mitch can't be trusted with a passport. Um, travel money and then just travel documentation. I'm very OCD. Then I've just got like little bits in here, like lady bits, tablets, 
and a little mirror, tissue, my glass case because I wear glasses because I can't see anything without them. We got a little Vietnamese handbook like with words in for Christmas from Glenn and Sally. So we're going to take that, we figured it'd be handy. And then I've just got um, lip balm because I figured I'm going to get dry lips on the plane. And I've got all our electrical stuff in here. So like battery pack, charger, I've got a little iPod to listen to music to on the plane, travel plugs, earphones. And my Fitbit charger, that's about it. Then, that's really it. Well, I've got, we've got some little toothbrush covers because we're going to take our toothbrushes with us in our hand luggage because we're travelling for like 22 hours. So we're going to want to freshen up at some point. And then in the front, I've just got an eye mask for on the plane. It's very hard to sleep on planes. So and we're going to take some earplugs as well. Toothpaste hand cream, hand sanitizer, and then again a padlock light mitts just to lock anything away if we need to. And that is everything in your... That's everything in my hand luggage bag. Sweet. Right, now moving on to the main bag. Okay, so we'll move on to my big bag now. Mine's only meant to be 60 litres, that's 20. So together I've got 80, and it's just meant to have 120, but they pretty much look the same to be honest. So in the bottom of this bit, I've got this with toiletries in. I'm not going to go through it all because there is just a load of crap in there, mainly my contact lenses, which has took up a lot of room. But just like mini shampoo and conditioner, um, what's that? Body wash, um, some jungle formula stuff because I get bit really bad, I don't know why. And then we've just got like some tablets, deodorant, um, some hair ties and hair grips, that's about it really. I mean, it's not like we're going to be stranded and not be able to get anything, so. That. Then I've just got a headband, flip flops. I'm only taking flip flops. I'm travelling in a pair of sliders, and then I've got a pair of trainers as well. Here. And then I've got a um, microfiber towel. Mitchell also didn't buy one of these. Like he didn't buy the cubes <laughs> because he's tight ass. But this was like on offer for like five pound, and this is going to be lighter than the, like the towel that Mitchell's taken. But I figured he's probably stronger and can carry more than me. Then sun cream, a little thing to wash with, deodorant, and more bug spray because I'm really paranoid about being bit as much as I was last time. That's it for that section. Then mine opens up quite nicely actually. It's a bit like a suitcase. And I just open this bit and the only thing I haven't actually packed yet is my makeup because I'm still using that. But I'm literally just going to take bare minimum because I figured I'm not going to use a lot. But I'm going to put that in there anyway. These are my pyjamas. I've kept them out because I'll, I'll be using them pretty much straight away probably. I'm taking, as well as having the day bag, I've also got like a mini backpack. Because I figured I won't want to carry that around all the time. And then I've got like a little bag for night time as well. But this has got a chain on it because you hear so many stories about people saying... They're like, come past you on a motorbike and chop your bag off. But I figured they're really not going to be able to do that with a chain one. So I'm trying to be tactical as well there. Hmm. So that's them. But no one's going to rob you while I'm there anyway. So it's oh, yeah, I'd like to hope not. <laughs> Again, like I said, I've packed my trainers. So I am only taking three pairs of shoes, flip-flops, trainers, and then the sliders that I'm travelling in. I, get, I bought these in Vietnam as well for quite cheap. So they're comfortable and I think they'll do me for hiking and stuff. Then these are the packing cubes. I would 100% recommend them like already. My bag is so much tidier and it was like three pounds from eBay. So this is, I've just separated it into tops and bottoms. So in here are my tops. I'm not gonna get it all out. I'm, I've got three um, sports bras. So I figured they'll be more comfortable to wear. I'm gonna take a normal bra as well. And I've got one, two, three, four crop tops. I'm gonna travel in a top as well. Um, I've got like, one, I've got two swimming costumes and one bikini and I've also got a sarong. Apparently I've read up a lot that sarongs are like lifesavers, especially like if you're going to go to the temple or something like that, you need to cover up or if you're at the beach, you want something to lay on. Like it's, it's just an all round purpose thing. So that's good to have. And then that's it for that really. And then in this one is like my bottoms. So, um, there's some places you can go, they're like really nice, but they can be like really strict with what you wear. I've got a really, I've got like a nice nighttime jumpsuit and a nice nighttime dress. Um, both are quite long because in like where we're going, the women don't really 
like show much skin and I don't really want to feel like I'm being disrespectful either also I want to cover up so I don't get burned <laughs> so I've got two pairs of trousers one uh the ones like the elephant trousers I got from Thailand last time um so I've got two pairs of trousers I'm also going to be traveling in this pair and then I've got one summer dress one long skirt and then one two three pairs of shorts and a pair of like gym leggings because we might go to the gym <laughs> maybe um but if not it'll be like comfortable for hiking and stuff as well so if it's not too hot but that's it for well, everything that's in my bag is that yeah. literally everything yeah for I think full done, year yeah and obviously i've packed underwear and stuff but i don't need to see my underwear no nah, we won't go into details <laughs> like that but yeah as you can see we haven't got a massive amount of things we've tried to keep it like minimalist and take as less as possible and yeah two days time we'll be starting putting it to use which is quite scary to be fair mm -hmm. but yes i hope this was a decent insight if anyone is going like we've been watching so many videos on what especially you aren't you of yeah. like what to actually take so i've had to narrow it down quite a lot because yeah i think it's just a girl thing to take a lot of stuff. Whereas I've literally just left it till today, which is two days till we go, to actually like even think about what I'm actually taking, which isn't a lot. I think it's more of a girl thing. But yeah, I hope this is more, I like, helped the people who have no idea of what to take. Like I say, we've been watching loads of videos and it's been very helpful. So I hope this one is helpful as well. Different perspective, two different people, two different minds. And yeah, next videos are going to be probably an eating video we're gonna eat every all our favorite foods before we leave and then literally that's it then we'll be in Cambodia then our first place is Phnom Penh Cambodia and that's when the vlogs are gonna start and that's when we're gonna try do I say daily but it's probably not gonna be daily it's probably gonna be every other day but we're gonna try do daily to start off with so yeah so excited cannot wait it's gonna be the best thing we ever do so Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a like. Subscribe because we're going to be uploading so many videos across going across Southeast Asia. So, <sighs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway, excited. yes. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.